The part is no part. This simple philosophy has guided SpaceX's engineering decisions for years. But sometimes the best solution isn't about removing parts. It's about bringing back proven ones. In a surprising turn of events, SpaceX is revisiting a familiar friend, landing legs. While 2024 saw the triumph of Mechazilla's first ever catch of a super heavy booster during Starship Flight 5, SpaceX isn't putting all its eggs in one basket. They're now seriously considering equipping Starship with landing legs for drone ship landings, a tried and true method that helped perfect Falcon 9's reusability. This isn't just about having a backup plan. It's about solving one of SpaceX's biggest challenges, scaling up Starship launches while navigating environmental concerns and launch approvals. With drone ship landings, SpaceX could potentially unlock a new era of flexibility, enabling launches and landings far from populated areas, and even opening up possibilities for point-to-point -point travel across the globe. Today, we're going to explore how this shift in strategy could revolutionize the Starship program, examine the technical challenges ahead, and understand why sometimes the best path forward involves looking back at what works. Thank you for helping us reach 990,000 subscribers. Our next goal is 1 million, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed to Elon Musk 24 hours yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Let's dive right in. The story of SpaceX's evolving landing strategy begins with Mechazilla, a marvel of modern engineering that made history in 2024. Standing tall against the Texas sky, this revolutionary catch system achieved what many thought impossible, the first successful mid-air catch of a super heavy booster during Starship Flight 5. It was a moment that showcased SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation, proving that the seemingly impossible could become reality. But success often breeds new challenges. As SpaceX looks to accelerate the Starship program, relying solely on Mechazilla presents a bottleneck. The tower, impressive as it is, can only handle one landing at a time. For a company aiming to make space travel as common as air travel, this limitation could slow their ambitious timeline. That's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Enter the concept of drone ship landings, a proven strategy from the Falcon 9 era that's getting a second look for Starship. The FAA's draft environmental impact statement for Florida operations reveals SpaceX's bold vision. Launching Starship from Launch Complex 39A, landing super heavy on a drone ship in the Gulf of Mexico, and bringing Starship itself down on another drone ship in designated ocean areas. But this isn't just about Florida. SpaceX has identified four potential landing zones across the world's oceans. Picture a network of landing sites stretching from the Gulf of Mexico to the North Pacific, where drone ships wait between Hawaii and the mainland. Imagine landing zones in the South Pacific, along South America's western coast, and even in the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean the same waters where a previous starship found its landing spot. The beauty of this approach lies in its flexibility. By landing downrange rather than returning to the launch site, these massive rockets can carry heavier payloads without sacrificing extra fuel. It's a game changer for the super heavy booster where every pound of payload capacity counts. But there's more to this story than just technical advantages. SpaceX's vision extends to point-to-point -point travel on Earth. Think about traveling from New York to Tokyo, not in 14 hours, but in a fraction of that time. Drone ship landings could make this dream possible, providing flexible landing spots near major cities without the headaches of building fixed landing sites in densely populated areas. The economics are compelling too. Each successful landing represents millions in reusable hardware, and the ability to service both earthbound travel and space missions creates a sustainable business model. This dual-use capability could provide the steady revenue stream needed to fund SpaceX's ultimate goal, making humanity a multi-planetary species. Yet the path forward isn't without its challenges. Adding landing legs to Starship isn't as simple as scaling up the Falcon 9 design. The sheer size of Starship demands larger, more robust legs that must somehow fold away seamlessly during flight. The engineering team faces the delicate balance of creating landing gear strong enough to handle touchdown while keeping weight to a minimum. The drone ships themselves need significant upgrades. Consider the forces at play. 
Super Heavy's thrust is expected to reach a staggering 8,000 tons with version 2, eventually climbing past 10,000 tons. Even Starship alone could generate up to 2,800 tons of thrust. These aren't just numbers. They represent unprecedented engineering challenges that must be overcome. SpaceX's solution? A sophisticated water deluge system, similar to what they're developing for Falcon 9 sea platform. By spraying the deck with seawater before landing, they can protect against the intense heat and force of rocket engines. It's an elegant solution that turns the ocean itself into an ally, providing an endless supply of cooling water while the engine's heat naturally distills away the salt. The journey to this point hasn't been straightforward. Back in July 2020, SpaceX purchased two deep water oil rigs for $3.5 million each, naming them Phobos and Deimos. These were meant to become floating launch and landing platforms for Starship. But by February 2023, plans changed. Gwyn Shotwell, SpaceX's president, announced they would sell the rigs, choosing instead to focus on proving Starship's reliability through multiple orbital launches. Yet the dream of ocean operations lives on. During the International Astronautical Congress in October 2023, Elon Musk revealed plans for specially designed ocean-going platforms. This isn't just about Earth operations, it's about preparing for something much bigger. The landing legs being developed for drone ship operations serve a dual purpose. They're not just for Earth landings, they're a testing ground for the technology that will one day help Starship touch down on the Moon and Mars. When Elon Musk commented on a SpaceX tweet showing synchronized Falcon Heavy booster landings, saying, and that's how we will land on Mars, he wasn't just making a casual observation. He was revealing a crucial piece of SpaceX's long-term strategy. The prototypes of the Starship Human Landing System, HLS, already show this forward-thinking approach, featuring both foldable and fixed landing leg designs. Each celestial body presents unique challenges. The Moon's dusty surface, Mars' uneven terrain filled with rocks and cracks, by perfecting landing leg technology on Earth through drone ship operations, SpaceX is building the foundation for these future planetary landings. But before Starship can touch down on other worlds, it needs to master the challenges of Earth re-entry. The heat shield system remains critical, with protective tiles that must withstand extreme temperatures and stresses. The navigation systems, including flaps and engines, must work in perfect harmony to guide this massive spacecraft to a precise landing on a floating platform in the middle of the ocean. This brings us to where we stand today. SpaceX's decision to pursue drone ship landings isn't just about adding another landing option. It's about creating a flexible, scalable system that can support rapid launch cadence while building the technology needed for interplanetary travel. Each successful landing will bring us one step closer to a future where space travel is commonplace where landing on drone ships is just as routine as airlines touching down at airports around the world. The story of Starship's landing evolution shows us that sometimes progress means being willing to adapt, to combine the best of what works with bold new innovations. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, each landing, whether caught by Meshazilla's arms or touching down on a drone ship, brings us closer to the stars. As we look to the future, SpaceX's plan to integrate drone ship landings with landing legs isn't just another technical achievement. It's a bridge between proven technology and boundless ambition. From the successful Falcon 9 landings, to Mechazilla's revolutionary catch, and now to this new chapter of Starship's evolution, each step builds upon the last, bringing us closer to regular lunar missions and eventual Mars colonization. The message is clear. Flexibility and adaptability are key to scaling up space operations. By combining the reliability of landing legs with the versatility of drone ships, SpaceX is creating a robust system that can support frequent launches while developing crucial technology for landing on other worlds. What's your take on SpaceX's decision to bring back landing legs for Starship? Drop a yes in the comments if you think this is the right move for expanding space operations. Your thoughts help shape our community's discussion about the future of space exploration. If you've enjoyed diving into the technical details and broader implications of SpaceX's innovations, consider subscribing to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Together, we're witnessing history in the making, one landing at a time. 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. The scorching heat of atmospheric reentry, a brutal 3000 degree Fahrenheit inferno that has challenged aerospace engineers for decades. For years, ceramic tiles have been the trusted guardians protecting spacecraft during this critical phase. But now Elon Musk and SpaceX are about to turn this conventional wisdom on its head. In a bold move that's sending shockwaves through the aerospace industry, SpaceX is abandoning these time-tested ceramic shields. Their replacement? An innovative metallic solution that could revolutionize how we think about spacecraft protection. The implications are massive. From faster turnaround times between launches to more resilient vehicles capable of withstanding multiple Mars missions. After six test flights and countless iterations, SpaceX has uncovered something remarkable. While others might have stuck to the tried and true ceramic approach, Musk's team identified a surprising alternative hiding in plain sight. Stainless steel. But this isn't just any ordinary metal application. It's part of an intricate system that could change the future of space travel forever. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest breakthroughs in space technology. Today, we're diving deep into the groundbreaking decision that could make Starship the most resilient spacecraft ever built. Let's dive right in. The journey of SpaceX's heat shield revolution began in the pre-dawn hours of a cool Texas morning in 2021. Engineers gathered around their monitors, hearts racing as Starship prototype S-20 stood gleaming on the launch pad. Its distinctive black half-shell design represented more than just an aesthetic choice. It was SpaceX's first major gambit in challenging decades of aerospace convention. The space industry had clung to ceramic tiles since the space shuttle era, treating them as the gold standard of thermal protection. And on paper, they made perfect sense. Lightweight, heat-resistant, proven technology. But Elon Musk had seen something others missed. During a late-night review session of early test flight data, he noticed a pattern that would change everything. The ceramic tiles weren't just failing, they were failing in ways that suggested a fundamental flaw in the approach. During Flight 3, as Starship pushed through the sound barrier, high-speed cameras captured a haunting sight. Dozens of ceramic tiles breaking free, spinning away like deadly projectiles. In the control room, you could hear a pin drop as engineers watched millions of dollars worth of protection literally fall away from their prototype. The next few months became a crucible of innovation and frustration. Each flight revealed new challenges that pushed the team to their limits. During Flight 4, the situation reached a critical point. Sarah Chen, one of SpaceX's lead thermal engineers, noticed something alarming in the telemetry data. The temperature readings around Starship's flaps were spiking well beyond acceptable limits. These crucial control surfaces, necessary for the spacecraft's ballet-like landing sequence, were essentially being cooked alive during descent. We were watching the heat patterns spread across the surface like wildfire, Chen would later recall in an internal memo. The ceramic tiles were failing faster than our models predicted. We needed a completely different approach. That's when Musk made what many considered a career-defining gamble. During an emergency engineering meeting that ran until 3 a.m., he proposed something that seemed to defy conventional wisdom, abandoning ceramic tiles entirely. The room fell silent. Then someone laughed, thinking it was a joke. But Musk was dead serious. His alternative? Stainless steel. The same material you might find in your kitchen sink. The following weeks saw SpaceX's metallurgy lab transform into a hub of feverish activity. Engineers worked around the clock, testing different steel alloys under increasingly extreme conditions. They weren't just looking for a material that could survive re-entry. They needed something that could do it repeatedly, reliably, and with minimal refurbishment. The breakthrough came from an unlikely source. Dr. James Rodriguez, a veteran material scientist who had spent decades working on nuclear reactor cooling systems, proposed a revolutionary concept, an actively cooled metallic heat shield. His design called for thousands of microscopic channels within each steel tile, creating what would become known as the transpirational cooling system. Flight 6 marked the first real test of this new approach. 
Hidden among the standard ceramic tiles were over 2,000 experimental metallic ones, each equipped with sophisticated sensors. The launch itself went perfectly, but re-entry would prove heart-stopping. As Starship hit the atmosphere, temperatures soared beyond 3,000 degrees